all right so uh, in this second lecture we are going to see how we can represent a qubit on a block sphere and that is a very useful uh, technique to understand the concept of qubit to visualize in your head while doing the while doing the calculations so it's uh, it's very needful to look at this concept at the very beginning of the this lecture series and uh, so as you can see it's a block sphere so it's nothing but a sphere so let's draw a sphere and as we have already seen that qubit state is a we know that it is a superposition state of 0 and 1 okay but it is not simply just 0 and 1 so there will be some coefficients here and that we are going to find out by looking at this sphere so suppose like in the last video we have talked about a switch on and off and that as uh, classical bits and by combination of them by superposition of them we can represent the qubits so let's suppose here this up state is let's say 0 and this down state let's say 1 right and let's say qubit is a nothing but a dot on the surface of the sphere so that qubit so as it is a dot from the surface of the sphere it will make two angles with these vectors right with these lines so suppose one angle is theta and another angle will be let's say this rotation uh, this angle that will be let's say phi okay that will give the uh, phase that will give the phase information of the qubit and uh, so if it is like that then we can uh, write that qubit as cos theta by 2 plus sin theta by 2 and e to the power i phi we can give a phase actually we can give give a phase here e to the power i phi 1 e to the power i phi 2 here and in at the end of the day only that matter is a phase difference so we can write in total as a phase phi uh, so it's like that we can so this is a general representation of a qubit right so how we can uh, we can easily can see why this is true because let's suppose this theta is zero then this qubit becomes this cos zero and this sine zero is becoming zero then only this term survives so this q becomes zero and we can see if the theta is zero then this merges with this line right so it becomes it collapsed to this zero state and if theta is let's suppose pi when it is this total angle then this q is nothing but your if if it is pi then you can see it is pi by 2 so this is 0 and this is pi by 2 nothing but 1 so this collapses to be one state let's suppose here we are considering phi to be 0 okay so we can see that uh, we we by changing this angle we can successfully getting our classical bits separately so this representation is perfectly fine and this is a way to represent so qubits are nothing but these dots on this uh, sphere and there can be you can see as many infinite possibilities of uh, representation for a qubit but also one interesting thing about measurement is that when we measure a qubit it will always collapse to a state either 0 or 1 we can never get the information 
of alpha and beta together before measuring because it is not a, even a valid question what is the information if we don't even measure so in the in the concept of information only comes into the picture after the measurement otherwise how can we know so this alpha and beta together we can never know so it's like a nature always plays a trick to us and it keeps in general when before measurement what is happening to the state is it generally the state is evolving and continuously and it's a, it's like a closed quantum system it's like a closed quantum system which is evolving continuously and nature is tracking all the variables nature keeping keeps tracking all the variables but uh, which is nothing but is alpha and beta but we can never know this information because when we measure either we can know alpha square that is the probability if it is in zero collapses in zero state or beta square if it is collapses in one state so we can only know either of this so there is a kind of lot of hidden information is there which we have no access to so this is kind of bizarre and strange and this is but this is the fundamental with the postulates of quantum mechanics and we cannot uh, we have to live with that all right so this is a simple uh, introduction to the qubit representation on the block sphere and i hope this was helpful